She plays a 30-year-old commitment phobe who is plagued by a shocking reading of her future by fortune teller in the Hallmark Channel original movie, A Ring by Spring. Rachel Boston is here. Hello. Well, nice. uh, so we want to jump right in to take a look at this because it's so it's such a fun idea that this sort of ticking thing is going off. Can you set up the clip we want to take a look at? Yes, well in the film I play a very independent career woman who is told that if she does not receive a ring by spring she'll never get married. So that leads me on a journey to finding love and I'm in this relationship with a man who I am pretty sure is the one and then something very different happens. Oh, is that where oh, we, is okay. that where we, okay. we join action? <laughs> I want a family, Karen. Wife, kids, whole banana. Okay. And so, as unexpected as this is probably going to be, and it is for me too, believe me. <laughs> um, I've decided that I can't see you anymore. What? Um, uh, I am breaking up with you. You just said you wanted the whole banana. I, I do. So why are you not proposing to me? Proposing? <laughs> Karen, you're not exactly marriage material. I'm not marriage material. And by the way, material, that's a very offensive word in this context. I mean, you don't want to get married. Why would you say that? Because you don't. Oh. 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 Not good. <laughs> wow. Did she get mad? So that's happened to me in real life, and now it's what? on film. What? No. <laughs> really? No. Um, oh. So to prepare for this role, I realized I mean, I can be very thankful for all the experiences of love that have led me to where I am. And so I called an ex-boyfriend. I got really brave because after that happens to Karen, she goes back through her past to try to figure out what patterns in her life she's been setting up. Right. So the man who she thinks is going to propose actually says yeah. she's not marriage material and breaks her heart. Well, so that's the journey through the past, through finding love, and okay, so no, she no, can no, open no, herself no, no, back no, up. No, 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 wait, wait. No. Yeah. Let's go back to the boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, I love the whole premise of the story for, on the Hallmark Channel, it's great. But let's go back to the boyfriend. You called your boyfriend to do what? Well, in the script, I go back to meet boyfriends. And so I'm reading this and thinking, this is a really good idea because I'm single and I should probably figure out the patterns just like Karen. And so I called my ex-boyfriend and we met for dinner and had a wonderful dinner and just kind of talked about where we both were in different times of our lives. And um, it was really incredible to see two people that have grown in such wonderful directions, but different directions. And so to reconnect um, in that way you was really- You still had the phone number. Huh? I did. Okay. <laughs> so did it help you? There, Rachel. What, what happened yeah, at that the, dinner? Yeah. What questions did you yeah, ask right. of you? Well, it was just so fun to reconnect with someone that knows yeah. you so well. And, and that was, I mean, he was just so inspired, I think, in a lot of ways, because I finally told him that I was about to go do a film about romance and love. Um, and then did he feel used? Not at all. No, he felt, <laughs> no I, think, I think we were just both so proud of each other and like right. what we've done with our, in our, our personal lives. Did he lives. know that's why you were getting together mm -mm. For, just to no. do recon? No. 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 And did it help you in your research for this character that you're playing? Well, it was really I think it's brilliant, by the way. <laughs> it's really yeah. freeing, like yeah. to, to look sure. at the past. I mean, that's all something that we can't change what happened in the past. And we have all of these experiences that make us who we are today. And so to be able to look back and to heal those parts that might have been really painful and to look back and, and then realize like how much joy it's brought to who you are. So you think that maybe this will help the audience to be able to relate to your character better because of you know, what you what you just said about experiencing? Well, I think so many women, I mean, women in my life certainly re relate to just the search for finding that, that person that really understands your heart and your soul. And so um, it's just, it's a fun journey through it. And it's so funny, too, to like it, well, watch a woman. Well, you're funny. 
You're funny. Yeah. Your reactions were so funny. <laughs> there, there's great. Getting broken up with. <laughs> I love your experience. reactions. <laughs> like, wait, I what? think that's such an amazing journey. You never think about that side of a breakup because you're just, I want to get away from yeah. the wreckage of it and the pain from it to actually go back and sit in it for a while and go, huh, what happened? Right, and to see you know? which, how each person has, has really helped you grow into where you are today. Sure, and so, so that allows her to just open up her heart so the new love can if come in. If I did that, I wouldn't have to eat dinner for a year at home. I could go out every single That's night. your next DIY <laughs> I'm project. Kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> sound horrible like I've had one failed relationship. I've known. That's not true, though. But, you know, to have that, uh, well, I could make them all German pancakes. <laughs> and they so would all leave sure. me at that point, yes, apparently. Yes, yes. Well, um, as I said, a brave thing to do, it, would you say that was one of the most courageous things you, things you've done in your life is to sit and, and go back and do that? Well, I moved to New York City when I was 17, so that was probably a little braver than calling my ex. Re really? <laughs> by I yourself? Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, you uh, went at yes. 17? Mm -hmm. You moved by yourself? I did. I grew up on a mountain in Tennessee, and then um, I always, well, I started performing when I was eight or seven, actually, in the church choir, and then I decided that I, I wanted to, to move to New York, and then that led to coming out to Los Angeles, and now wow. I'm in your fine. Now you're... Just, you um, have, oh, oh my goodness. You. Is this eight years old there, right? Oh my yes. God. I was going to say, that's not that's New York. That's my first solo. I'm yeah. a sheep. Oh. So, <laughs> first solo. This was in your blood. And what did you went to New York by yourself? Your parents just said, okay, did, what, what, you can go. Was there anybody in New York that you could see? Relatives? No, I didn't know what? anyone. A brave little girl. In the whole city. But I wasn't allowed to date. That was something they, they weren't really. How are they going to know? But moving to New York, oh, was, sure. I that was comfortable. Oh. And you had a job to take care of? Did they help? But did they. I, that blows my mind. I mean, that, so my son young. is 12. No. I'm like, in five years, he's moving to New York. Yeah. No, he's not. <laughs> right. You but, can call me. Yeah. I'll help him out. I've got New York figured out now, so I can help in that area. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, All this right. movie looks like it's a lot of fun, and it's delightful. And I, well, and I'm, thank you. It was so much fun to shoot, and it's really, it's just filled with hope, and so I hope that, um, I hope that people <laughs> will watch it and just um, be inspired by just the idea of letting go of the past and moving into a future that they're well, really proud and happy. It's ticking for her, though. Yeah. Karen's got to get yeah, a yeah, ring yeah, soon because yes. spring is ring almost spring. here. And well, life imitates art, so hopefully, like ring by spring, maybe yeah. I'll have like a boyfriend by winter.